uh, just resilient, um, willing to do what it, what it takes. Uh, obviously, it's a playoffs tough time. Um, you're going to go through a lot of, a lot of ups and downs and um, put ourselves in a, in a good spot right now. How tight is this right now, just on the ice? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so, I mean, you can tell watching, I mean, it's a huge save by Otter, right, with three or four minutes left, and that that changes that the game for sure, could could change the series, right, so I mean, just little little things like that are, make such a, a huge difference in, in series, it's one play here, one play there, that usually makes a difference. You talk about mentality all the time, obviously you want to finish it out there, what is the... You know, jugular type mindset go into that game uh, just stay the course I think we want to we want to play how we've been playing um, play fast try to play in their end as, as much as, as possible and um, obviously limit their chances physicality can really enter into a seven game series you guys both sides have had moments Pete said last night the key is to you know not letting it get into your head how do you do that I mean obviously there's the thought you want to retaliate for whatever might happen but as a team, you have to stay calm. Yeah, as, as I said, stay the course. We want we want to play how, how we're going to play and move pucks, get up the ice, and, and try to play in, in their end as much as, as possible. I don't think that's uh, retaliate, retaliating, things like that. That's that's not in our mindset, I don't think. And then Logan had a big game last night. What have you seen in him in the time he's come up? And then as a defenseman, how do you defend against yeah, that? Super skilled, um, but more impressive how hard he works yeah. often on the ice. I mean, incredible work ethic, really takes care of himself, and um, obviously, really good player. And obviously, going forward, he's gonna he's gonna be a, an incredible player in the league. Can the small stature help in the little ways as far as getting a puck in a battle against a defenseman or just getting uh, a little I angles? I think it's just he how hard he works. Doesn't matter how big or big or small he is. I think he. He really has a, a good motor, and he yeah. and, and and when he wants to, to do things, he, he really can accomplish them. So I mean, obviously, super impressed by, by how he's played since I've been here. You mentioned Jake's big save in the third. What, what was that moment like for you watching that unfold? Yeah, I mean, everyone sort of you see it unfold, and obviously everyone's on on the bench hoping hoping for the best. And I mean, uh, the the guy made a great move, and and Jake just. Somehow, somehow got back across and made a, a huge save at, at a crucial time, uh, and I think that's that sort of playoffs for you, right? Um, big saves, big power play goals, big kills at the right times. That's that's sort of what defines playoff hockey. In a tight series like we're talking about, what kind of confidence does his play give the whole group? Yeah, I mean, he's I, since I've been here, he's been incredible. So I mean, we have the utmost confidence in him, and and we know he's gonna make the saves when, when he needs to. So, I mean, we're, we're just worried about playing in front of him, trying to limit the chances that we give up. And as I said, playing our game, play fast, um, execute and, and get in there and as much as possible. As far as the road success this team has had, you come in mid season, what have you learned in your time here about you know, what makes this team so successful away from Dallas? I think it's just the mentality. Um, doesn't really change home or away. Um, the belief, the determination, just those those things that contribute to the mindset of, of the whole team, and uh, you need everyone to to be successful. Well, I, I think uh, one, this is it's always the toughest game to win is the is the elimination game. Uh, it's always uh, the toughest to put a, a team away and send them home for the for the summer. So we know that going in, especially in that building, tough building, but. You know, we like the momentum and the role we're on. We've won three in a row. Uh, I think we've got a good game plan. I think the guys are, are hungry and confident and excited. And, uh, you know, if it ends up in game seven, uh, we're glad it's back in Dallas. When you think even back to last postseason, you had some success with big wins on the road. And when you factor in this regular season, how have you built that success and confidence? On yeah. Well, we've got a great, great group for going on the road and winning. A real mature group, great leadership. Uh, they understand how we have to play on the road. No one's overwhelmed in those moments. Uh, you know, goaltending is always key on the road. And the other part is we don't take uh, a lot of penalties. So, uh, you know, we, we tend to stay out of the box, which always helps uh, when you're on the road in some of these tough environments. So, you know, I think our group 
likes being on the road and uh, you know, there's no better road city than Vegas for any for any for any reason. <laughs> uh, many of your guys mentioned it was like a hold your breath moment on that breakaway that yeah. Jake makes the big save last night. You raved about his play. You spoke earlier this year about the frustration going through the injury, some of the ups and downs. When yeah. You think about that moment. How can you put it in context yeah. with his season? Well, he, he's rising to the occasion at the most important time of year, which you know I, I never doubted uh, that he would be there uh, at this point. So, uh, you know, everyone goes through ups and downs in their career and in their season. Um, he's heating up at the right time. And that was a, a, a critical moment. You know, those are the kind of moments you look back, hopefully at the end of a really long playoff run here and a championship and, and go, you know, that was a defining moment in our playoff run. Let's hope that's, uh, that's how we look at it. Uh, they made some adjustments. There's always some curiosity when another team makes adjustments. How does it feel confidence-wise when you succeed against their adjustments? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a good win last night for us. You know, it wasn't a perfect game, um, but I thought uh, we had opportunities to actually extend that lead and, and not make it as close as it was. Um, so I liked our game. I liked our energy. You know, like I said, I think when you win three in a row in the playoffs against the same team, uh, your confidence is usually in a really good place. So... They're, they're the defending Stanley Cup champions, though. You know they're going to bounce back, um, you know, and, and there won't be a tougher group to try and eliminate than, than the former champions. So we've got to be prepared for that. You know both those goalies. What is a challenge when they change? I mean, different hands, different yeah. styles. It just seems like there was an adjustment that you guys yeah. had to make and you did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, not, not a huge adjustment, but, but they are different. You know, uh, Hill's a bigger blocker. Um, they catch with different hands. So I think from a shooting perspective, I think the, the, the real good shooters notice that stuff. I think for the rest of the game, it's just uh, business as usual. And then Logan, I asked you a little bit about him last night, just expanding on what he's done. And what is the key to what he does? It just seems like he gets puck possession, yeah. which is huge, but he also just kind of brings energy to yeah. his shifts. Well, it's, it's a combination of, of uh, he's strong, uh, he's fearless, and he's tenacious, and when you have that combination, you know, um, you, you you notice him on the ice. He's 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 on the puck or after the puck everywhere. He's attacking seams. He's going to the tough areas of the rink. He's battling with guys that are everybody on the ice is bigger than him. Uh, so it's a mismatch. So he's got to make up for that in in his will uh, to win those, and he does every time he's in there. It's amazing how many pucks he comes out of against bigger guys. How much does he help Jamie and Wyatt? Yeah, yeah, I, I think he's been a, a critical piece to that line and to our team. You know, he really he drives that energy bus for us every night. You know, if you're down a little bit or you're off or you've been traveling or you've lost, you know, he brings that same energy every day, and that's contagious to our group. How tight has this series been? I mean, pretty much all one goal games. Yeah. Anything you've experienced. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I likened it. It's, it's not a typical 1-8 first round matchup, you know. I mean, the only reason they're in the eight hole is because of injuries and because of the way their season went. Otherwise, they're, they're probably fighting for the President's Trophy. So it's more like a final or a conference final uh, that we've jumped into right out of regular season play. And then we recognize that. I think we look at it, though, like, you know, if we can get through this, uh, you know, we're going to be tougher and, and more weathered and better for it. It would be, uh, this is probably an after the fact type question if things go well on, on Friday night, because you're probably not focused about it in this moment, but with the history for this whole team, your history, would there be a certain sweetness to winning? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think you, you can probably guess there would be, but we're not going to go there yet. we got a lot of business to take care of before we get to enjoy a moment like that. All right, thank, thank you. you.